Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today I am at the Örnsköldsvik airport because a work colleague has invited me to take a flight over the area. Maybe you can already see in the back, wait, where is it? There, maybe you can already see the airplane. So right now I am waiting for him. He just texted me this morning or he called me this morning and said like, hey, I'm at the airport, you wanna, you wanna take a flight? I was actually planning to do something else, which is installing my accessories, which are in the end my all-weather floor mats. But now I decided to, yeah, let's do it. Maybe I do the other stuff later. Yeah, but it's really a nice day and I'm kind of excited. I have no idea how much I can film, if I'm even allowed to film during the flight. But if it's possible, either with this camera or with my phone, you're gonna see something nice, hopefully, during the trip. But now I hope, he is somewhere here nearby, <laughs> there through the gate, maybe you can already see, there it is. It's a very, very small plane, two seats only, so I think I've never been in such a small thing before, but it's going to be awesome. I'm really, really excited, guys. So let's just hope I'm gonna make it up and down healthy. <laughs> And there we are. This is the plane we used to fly last week over Earnshots Week. And yeah, as you can already hear, I'm doing a post commentary right now because, well, when you are in the air, you cannot hear anything with that propeller in front of your head. After all the preparations were done, all the checkings, it was time to get inside the plane. And then, of course, it was time to lift off. But before that, double checking that everything is going well on the airport. It is, however, really crazy because no one is at this airport. I was already at the airport once in a former video and yeah, we were the only people actually at this airport. It was closed. So this motor club that my work colleague is in, he was of course still like sending out information about our future liftoff before and now. I think it's time that we are lifting off. I'm not 100% sure, but we already prepared on the strip and yeah now we have sped up and there we go the acceleration and of course this is a small plane so it doesn't take too much acceleration and time and especially distance to lift off but i think are we still on the ground yep we are but sooner or later we should be flying and there we go the eagle has lifted off and there is urchard's week airport Yes, you can also see the nice little shadow on the ground. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. And there is all of the airport. And now we're gonna see the beauty of Sweden, first of all, in the air. You can already see a lot of trees around. This area was basically probably also trees before the airport was built. And one thing that I already can tell you on the way to the south, to Örnsköldsvik, you can really, really see how many lakes exist in the area and I was always like like I'm doing this I'm swimming every week at a different lake and yeah you can understand why that is possible when you see the footage that is, that is coming up of course we had headsets on the whole time so we had to talk over microphones in my opinion it also looked kind of cool I'm not 100% sure but for me I felt cool of course it is pretty bright in the beginning we were flying straight toward the sun but then it didn't take long, maybe like 10 minutes and we already were basically over Earnshot's week with the lakes and the river inside. And then, I, like I said, it didn't take long and we were straight over Earnshot's week. For me, this was of course a crazy experience because yes, I have my drone and because I'm doing a lot of footage in Sweden, I know how Sweden looks from the top. But of course, I have never seen Earnshot's week from the top because I just don't feel comfortable flying over cities that much and then my colleague decided to make a 360 degree turn right over the area over the water with Ernschert's Week the harbor inside also maybe far in the distance you could see my company but of course it is not in the Ernschert's Week city area but there you go just look at the area you can also see the arena down there in the middle of this harbor area you have, you have the Heglunds Arena. I still think it would be crazy if they ever would have done the Eurovision Song Contest right there. On the left side of the city that is now slowly disappearing, we had the ski jumping hills, then the city area, and then again after some 
at least nice roads up there. You can see again the forests on the hill around Ernschelsweek and up there. Just look at the islands. Even with the reflection, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And after all that flying over Ernschelsweek, it was then time to fly a bit further south towards the high coast. But as you can see, Clouds were pretty close later on during this flight and my yeah, colleague decided to not take the risk and fly too, too far towards the clouds because clouds always give this feeling of bumpy flying and I guess all of you that went flying know how that feels when you're in a flight and you're like having this basically hole in the air and you're like dropping. It can be a nice feeling in my opinion in a big plane but of course in a small one everything is a bit different. You know you have smaller wings so you're gonna drop a bit more than in a big plane. So we didn't take the risk to go too far towards these clouds but still we kind of flew towards the islands that you can see there and it's still a crazy thing in my opinion to think that people are actually having houses there so i'm not sure if they are living there if this is more like a summer house like a summer vacation place because if you really live on the island the whole year around i have no idea how they are going to manage to live there in winter because you have to take a ferry and in the winter the whole water between those islands is frozen. I actually would say there's a chance that you could take some lightweight vehicle and drive over the area. I'm not 100% sure but that is at least what I would guess also after being already one year in Sweden in this area. But still I would really like to know how people live in these areas. So maybe in the future I'm gonna go to the islands and then maybe I have the interaction. I, I like that. I really like that idea to have a house on an island. Of course not for always because you need grocery stores, you need all that stuff. You cannot just make it deliver there. And after all that flying it was basically going again towards the north staying on the coastline and in the far you can already see another more residential area well not only this is Husum uh, yeah the next city in the north of Ernschelsweek of course a very small city they have a factory there I don't even know what they are producing I think it is also paper as it is for most places in northern Sweden. My colleague also asked me if I want to have another 360 turnaround over the area but I decided to not do that because I don't have too much connection to it. So that was also the thing like he asked me where do I want to go and of course I know some nice places around the area by discovering them with the car but I don't have too much connections to these. So it is not like oh yeah I want to see that place from top or this and if I want to see places like this I can just take my drone out and fly around that is like my way of doing things like this of course with the airplane you have a bit more height you're gonna see more like you saw already and right now I just pointed out that there is the central station of Husum and this is actually pretty interesting because first of all there is a train stopped right there and I have been also at this train station a few times in the train waiting for it to go further to Umeå or back to Ernstelsweek. So this was kind of fun for me to see that there is the train station. And now after all that flying, so I think we were at this moment like 40 minutes already on the fly, it was time to basically position ourselves again towards the airport to get ready for a nice and soft landing. That's at least what I was hoping for. Of course I felt very safe the whole time in the airplane. There was never a moment where I felt uncomfortable. My colleague also told me like he doesn't want to fly too low above the trees because these trees give you again some more bumps when you are flying pretty low and because like I already said the airport was closed so no one should be there. We decided to yeah fly a bit higher above the trees and then take more of the long runway to land the, the plane safe. Of course he always was communicating and sending out his voice to everyone around if someone would be around so that everyone knows that we are doing a landing right now. And as you can see you go pretty fast when you are slow. Like that, That's always the crazy thing. It doesn't feel very fast when you are in the air high up but the closer you get again to the ground the more you realize how fast you actually were going.
And there we go, pretty close to the center line. He of course always wants to aim for that. And are we landed yet? No, but there we go. The landing was successful. The eagle has landed, how we can always say. And that was it. So there you go. We just have landed. We are now rolling and rolling to get a bit slower. And then of course, we are gonna go towards the hall where the airplane was situated and after the landing of course it is then very very important to yeah get the airplane inside if no one else is pl planning to fly on that day and that was actually the situation there were also two other planes situated there that belong to other people but now let's listen to my real review and then also outro okay guys well that was my flight over Ernst's week, over the islands and yeah, from the airport. I have to say it was pretty, pretty damn cool. I'm thinking about it if I will do it again. I'm kind of curious about like the winter situation, but uh, it's a lot of money. To give you a number, it's around about 150 euros I paid for 50 minutes. So just that you know. So that was the trip. And we're gonna see each other back in the next video. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. But with that said, bye bye.